So we're gonna take a look at the two guitar parts for a whipping post, and I feel like a good way to do this is to have me play along the backing track. Both parts, we're gonna do it split screen. I'm gonna play through the kind of main part of the song first, and uh, so you can hear it, see it, and I'm gonna break down what's going on with each part with tabs at the top of the screen so you can follow along. But let's give it a listen first, and then we'll see what's going on. So let's start with Dwayne's part, and I think uh, a lot of this too, I'm going to look at kind of uh, Warren Haynes, Derek Trucks kind of twist on things too, and I believe Warren played this part, but you know, it might be mixed up, you know, um, mixed around. It, it you know, really doesn't matter too much, but we'll call this guitar part one. So the bass kicks it in, it's 11, 8, it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 1, 2, 3, and then the drums come in, and then we've got... Uh, that's just you know just these bottom four notes of an A you know minor pentatonic uh, scale, and that's the uh, that's the guitar one there, and then up up top we've got. So that is just the middle two strings, same thing. A minor pentatonic, that'd be the dicky part, and that's going uh, just the same four notes, but just a little different, you know, kind of melodic uh, thing to it. And then when it kicks into the verse, we're now going to an A, to a B minor, C, to a B minor, and there's so many different ways to play this. Um, you know, there's no exact way. It's the Allen Brothers. You wanted to keep things loose, try try out kind of new approaches, especially when it gets to the, the jam section because it goes over this and uh, interesting you know you're, you're playing an A but the soloing really focuses more on a C Dorian which has got a C in there I'm sorry an A Dorian so which has got a C in there and we'll do more on that later in the soloing part but um, anyways we've got A right B minor you can play any parts of this so just like this part right here these two strings these two you can play these two rock sound, right? But it can be higher up too, so. And the two players, you know, whoever's playing it is just kind of, they're doing it in different spots, different ways, but it's basically playing around with the same, um, same chords. And that's all that's really going on in the verse. Then we've got what I would call the chorus part, kicks into the bluesy part. Dicky Bex is playing a D7, right? Slides it right up to an E7. And that's it. And then kicks into the, the, the whipping post. But uh, the lead part over that is just playing D minor. Pentatonic, you can play it anywhere, but it kind of works nice here. Just kind of like these rock licks, you know? It doesn't have to be the same thing every time. And then just going up to uh, the E. 
Um, again, this is not going to be like a, an exact breakdown of any licks from, say, the studio version or the, the Fillmore version, things like that. Um, for my reference track, I actually kind of will listen to a little bit to a version from, I think, 2004 or something, so much, much newer, and it actually goes to a uh, totally different twist in the second solo that we'll, we'll uh, check out in a second. But then we have the, uh, the chorus, so let's check out what's going on there. So we've got the higher part going up here, go. And then a quick thing, just on a C, you can play just a C power chord, play the full thing, doesn't matter, right? Too much hits with the drums and everything. And then we've got this part, the high part up here. So that's just part of a C minor, I'm sorry, A, I keep trying to say it, C, A minor pentatonic. So right up here though, so here's our A, and that hard part right there is bending that up to there, so. And then Diggy's part is down here going. There, you gotta make sure you get that. So bending, you probably yeah, you could go up. I like to bend on this string this way though. And uh, that's it, harmonizing together like that beautifully. And then we've got the part where the organ does the little pickup, going into the melody with again Dwayne's part. We'll start with that one. So again, focusing on an A minor pentatonic, but with this note thrown here, so that gives it more of that Dorian sound. Again, we're more on that um, later when we look at the solo section. And then Dickie's part is down lower going. And that's it. So let's check out the first solo section and uh, just be playing along some examples. And if it you know, feels a little long for you and you want to just get right down to me kind of talking about what's going on, feel free to skip ahead. I know it's pretty long, but uh, let's check it out and uh, see what's going on after.
So basically it's all revolving around an A Dorian scale, which is the same, if you don't know what that means, it sounds fancy, it's the same thing as the G major scale, if you know that, but focusing on an A note, you know, so if you're going up the scale from G, like this, but instead, so here how it sounds very different, same exact notes, and that's it. You can just play around, you know, you know, and of course, lots of things where there's like legato, you know, you know slides and uh, pull-offs, things like that in some sections. And then of course, bending. You can also think of that as an A minor scale, but with a flat, I'm sorry, instead of a flat six, which the minor scale has, it has a raised six. And it's a little sweeter sounding. And the reason that that scale works better than say, playing something that has that C sharp in there, because that A chord, is there, it just doesn't sound quite as edgy, you know? So that's why the uh, the Dorian is kind of the scale choice there, but you can also use just A minor pentatonic, um, A blue scale, just all that stuff kind of works too. And uh, that's it for that. But with the with the rhythm part, it's just the, the verse part, like I was saying, trying out different ways of doing it, playing higher up. I'm not gonna do a super crazy thorough thing with the chords here. But try to learn some more voicings if you don't know too many. And um, play way up here. Like... You can always just play these two. Like... It gives you something a little, a little different, a little more kind of rock sounding. Good way to peak it. And at the peak of this, actually, this is from that 2000, again, I think 4, 2003 version. Um, they play a thing with octaves of just A. So at the peak of the, both solos, they go. And then back, brings it down to the verse. So it's a great um, way to kind of peak it and a great way to have a cue to bring it back um, down and stuff. So let's check out the second solo. Um, this is even longer. Um, this one actually starts because it's a different version than the older ones. It goes to a D mixolydian thing where it plays around a D, kind of a DC kind of progression, or not really progression, more of a modal thing, right? And then switches to the uh, the A Dorian section there. So, so if you want to listen to it, check it out. If you want to just skip ahead, feel free to just scroll right ahead too.
So I like this here, this is a little twist here, you know, to the normal kind of way um, whipping post is played. Just playing around a D and a C, and I'll actually talk about the rhythm part first. It's just basically, you play any way of playing D and then playing C, so just two frets down. So you play... And the lead part is just playing a thing called D mixolydian, and that's like D major scale, but with a flatted seven, which is a C note instead of C sharp, C. So just like in the uh, the, uh, the A Dorian part as well. Oops. And that makes it sound much more open because if you put D major, all that note wants to do that seven is go to the D, but a flat seven has more space. So a big Allman Brothers sound. Those two scales are like, there's two main, at least from modes, would be Mixolydian and Dorian by far the most common in uh, Allman Brothers uh, songs and stuff. And that's what's going on there. And then it switches to the, uh, the A Dorian part, uh, probably through, and finishes with, the, with that octave thing as well. But now let's listen to the last part of the song, the climb, and then the outro as well and then we'll talk about that and wrap it up climb that they're doing in unison together just going and this is just going right up that Dorian scale again A Dorian and then we're going up here one part's going like this Bending up, so just an A unison, and then the other ones with the max on my guitar here. And then just doing those those all together. And then at the end, this is again this particular version. Again, always keep in mind, all, you know, all these versions are always gonna be a little different live. It's playing over a C um, and just playing a lot of like C, um, C major pentatonic. You know, really dragging that out, and then they switch to an A, where it's a lot of A major pentatonic, and you're just kind of floating around there, just using your ears and uh, listening to everyone else that's that's going on, and that's it. So that's a little twist on the normal way of playing whipping post, but it's got all the main uh, parts in there, kind of the, the the meat of the song as well. So uh, hopefully that helps. And if you want to play along with the backing tracks, I've got them for purchase down below. I'll put a link to them. 
uh, part with part one and part two. So two different tracks, so you can try out both. And also with the PDF chart of everything we just went over as well. So it's just a quick download and uh, you get an email to you as well. So you got it as a little backup and uh, that's it. Hopefully uh, that works for you and I'll have fun and I'll have see you in the next video.